Hello and welcome back to Raccoon Justice, where justice done the raccoon way is the only way to do justice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please remember to give this video a massive thumbs up, comment everything you want to comment down below, and subscribe to the channel because we are moving ever closer to that magical 10,000 subscriber mark. Be the solution, not the problem. Thank you so much. Today we have an interesting one. It's Chris and Sarah. They have, as promised, they've put out their fantastic lost tape. <laughs> I'd love to see the actual lost tapes. But this is the, the lost tape that was supposedly not uploaded at the time. Allegedly, supposedly, but I have I have issues with it. Chris, come on, you knew I would be, you knew I would, right? But not for the reason that you think. Actually, probably for a lot of the reasons you think. But some of the reasons that you think are not the reasons that I'm going to get. You know, let's get into it, right? First up, we're going to talk straight now, Chris. This maths exam. You've obviously heard me talk about it. I've mentioned it a fair few times. The fact that your daughter needed to go to her exam, right? Her maths exam. The very vital maths exam that she she really messed up in in the last one when she walked out early by mistake. And she needed this one. But you and your wisdom, you took her away. But before her second exam so not to give her the chance to to study and prepare and everything else to you know pass that exam which is very vital it's important it's maths right but that's not what I'm going to talk to you about today because I've mentioned that so many times now what we're going to mention today is the last night's vlog where the first thing Sarah says during the vlog is yesterday Isabel had her maths exam. Seemed a bit random to me. Okay, she's maybe been asked. Sarah says that she's had so many questions asking about Isabel's maths exam. Question for you, Sarah. Why do you have to answer these people about your daughter's private business? Just because they ask doesn't mean to say that you have to answer. Anyway, just just a side note there, just a side note because, you know. Anyway, so so Sarah says that Isabel had her maths exam yesterday, as in yesterday vlog time. This was being uploaded then on or. Rather, it was being filmed on the Wednesday because Isabel's exam was on the Tuesday. And this means that this was supposedly filmed on the Wednesday. But what you didn't mention, Sarah, what you failed to mention, which was unbelievable, to be perfectly honest with you, is that Isabel had a very important exam that day, that, that morning that you were talking about, well, basically trying to cover yourselves and say that Isabel did take her maths exam, but in doing so, you failed to mention that she had an exam. In fact, Isabel made an, an appearance when she should have been in her exam, probably. Obviously, can't verify what time this speech was taking place, but it was supposed to be the morning, I think. So, why was Isabel there if she had an English literature exam that day, that morning? And if she's already been and come back, you haven't mentioned that the fact that she's had her final English lit exam. But you mentioned that she had her final maths exam yesterday. So... I'm just saying, Sarah, it doesn't it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. And yeah, so you know, call me skeptical, but it seems a little bit 
there's something not quite right about it all. That's all I'm saying. There was a couple of inconsistencies within the vlog. And that's what I also want to talk to you about. Because it's worrying me. Chris, it's worrying me. I get that you more than likely film different clips and just shove them in in different days. But this is quite serious. Okay, because you're purporting it to be from the Wednesday the Wednesday and that's why it wasn't uploaded it, you know it, it got lost and everything there a couple of things that need to be mentioned and I'm not quite sure how to to approach this with you Chris it's um quite serious I feel your gray t-shirts and your black t-shirts they come in very handy in this situation because people can't tell what day of the week it is or what, where, you know, it's best for you that way, put it that way. It means that people can't track your movements, they can't, you know, say, oh, he's wearing this, then, and you can do whatever you want on any particular day because you you always wear grey and you started wearing black, so, you know. Props to you. But what I start to get a little bit concerned about is um, on the last day before you left for wherever it is you've gone to, you wore your grey your gray t-shirt here when you went to Mila's appointment. And then later on in the vlog, at the end of the vlog, when you were packing up, finishing your packing up and everything, you were wearing your black t-shirt. Okay, yes, you could have very well changed. Maybe packing all that stuff up was like very sweaty work and you needed a change of top and and everything. Maybe you'd had a shower and you decided to change after, you know. I... I I get it. There's there's reasons why you might want to change from grey to black. But um, it does raise questions. Because, you know, you've been seen... Like the, the vlog that you put up yesterday, which was supposed to be from the Wednesday. You have... You were wearing the black t-shirt then as well. Which, again, as I said, you wear black and grey frequently. So it's not really a, a telltale sign. But it just adds that little bit of, you know, what's going on here. And Sarah, this is uh, another inconsistency. Inconsistency number two, if you will. Sarah, during her maths exam speech at the beginning she mentions that the holiday was a few days ago they arrived home a few days ago which wasn't true because you know they arrived they arrived home like they've been home a day okay obviously it could be a turn of phrase it's you know a few days covers a lot of bases and you know when you're trying to hide something that's what it does it hides things. But also, now Esme at the end, now this was a bit strange. She said, we had our dance rehearsal the other day. Now, if this was a Wednesday, the other day, like her dance rehearsal was the day before, right? The night before, in fact, yeah. So... The other that you wouldn't say the other day, you would say last night. It's a very strange turn of phrase if you're referring to what something that happened the, the night before. And again, it covers a lot of bases. Now, inconsistency number three relates again to Esme. It's her hair. It looks now a lot of people might comment on certain other things relating to Esme's segment but I'm going to, just going to say one thing I'm just going to say one thing please do not give any hate to any child in the comments so Esme 
seems a bit hyper and that is something that would happen not necessarily with excitement but kind of adrenaline like when you've you've had you've had a good experience rather than when you're anticipating a good experience coupled with the fact her hair is in pigtails it just smacks of she's just had her her first day of dance dance shows that day it feels like it's a saturday it's that saturday that's what it if you put everything together that's what it feels like and also don't forget that morning she had her the saturday morning she also had her her fake birthday so she got all her birthday presents and everything and she had cake and everything like that so she you would say she'd be a bit hyper from all this so that to me fits in it doesn't feel like it would be the wednesday three days before her dance show inconsistency number four is the luggage now if you look at this picture from yesterday's vlog which was supposed to be wednesday you can see the luggage is all laid out on the floor now this is what if they left on the tuesday afterwards it's like almost a full week before they go away with the luggage being lying about looking like it's being packed in the middle of the kitchen floor and if you look at the weekend which is the this picture here is from this saturday and again the luggage is all over the shop granted it is possible that they were i mean they did just come back from dubai so maybe the luggage didn't make its way anywhere just lay in the kitchen floor in the middle for a week or so before they went back off again inconsistency number five this is see in this picture here this is well this is today or yesterday this is the what is supposed to be wednesday right wednesday and they sarah is sarah is unboxing a bunch of amazon packages okay she's showing us what she's got for amazon and she's unboxing them now if you look at this picture here this was taken from the saturday a full three days later and you can see the amazon packaging is still in that same spot where sarah was unboxing them supposedly on the wednesday now granted ingham's can be a little bit messy so it's possible that they just left it right there for three for three days but it's not moved the point is it's not just been taken it's not unboxed and then moved like ready to go out in the rubbish or ready to go anywhere it's just stayed in the same spot that she unpackaged so it seems a little bit weird to me that for three whole days those packages didn't move also along the same lines of the amazon thing is that if the packages were sent and she's doing the un unboxing on the on the wednesday what time is she doing the unboxing by the way because the earliest she could have ordered those was the Tuesday. Arriving the next day, would they have arrived by the time that she unpackaged them? It seemed a bit quick to me. So, yeah, that's about it, really. I think that 
here's the here's the problem with all this, right? Obviously, Chris and Sarah, they are just messing about. They are filming things. Chris said the other day that they batch edit. Now, I would suggest that they also batch film. And they put it together. That's why sometimes we find things that are out of sync. Because they've just edited them and or filmed them all and then edited it all together and but if you are batch filming and you've filmed the here's my problem <laughs> okay here's my problem if you batch filmed the math speech sarah saying isabel did her maths exam yesterday and that's been that didn't happen because like when was it filmed is my question if it was filmed after the you know like at the weekend why is sarah saying that isabel had her exam yesterday you know so if they are faking if you're faking that then you're faking everything else so this confirms even further to me that these exams just didn't go ahead at all notwithstanding the fact that you said that Sarah, <laughs> that you came on to say that Isabel did her exam yesterday and forgetting that she should have been at an exam that day as well anyway Chris Sarah enjoy destroying your kids lives day by day you can go on all the holidays that you like. It won't make up for their future though. You really do need to trust me on this one. Everybody else have a lovely day. I hear sun is on the horizon for some of you. I won't tell you which ones of you that is though. Please remember to give this a thumbs up. Comment everything you want to comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, take care, and bye-bye. Thank you so much to all my channel members, KellyXX, SupergirlFan, Butterfly0111X, Sam, GrannyCakeLayla68, Hayley Billington, My One Hollywood, soon to be Mrs. B, Reborn 1988, Paul, Caroline Page, Jim Jam, Vicky Mum of Four, XX, Joanne C, Jude Lines, One, Kirsty Reed, Create, Tracy Jordan, Linda Spence, and Cam K. Thank you all so much for all your support.